What's up, YouTube? We're back at you again. Uh, just bring you a little bit more information. Um, this particular uh, bit of information that I wanted to talk to everyone about was uh, starting fire and wet conditions. And I kind of touched on this a little bit uh, in a short that I made. Um, but uh, I want to talk to everybody uh, in specifics about what they use to start fire in wet conditions, especially if you are um, out in the woods or in the back country. Now, everybody can use common sense when it comes to actually starting a fire and, and uh, utilizing the tools. Uh, maybe you have a, a, just a simple big lighter or stick lighter and dry and and with dry conditions and and with the materials around you you know it's pretty simple for the average person to start a fire under dry conditions um what is not common is people being able to start fire under wet damp conditions and what products to use when you are going to to start a fire uh under those circumstances so uh, what I want to do is I want to share with everybody the four things that I use to start a fire in wet conditions. Um, these four things are in any particular type of order and they are chemical fire starters. So uh, just a little disclaimer that if you do uh, take any of these suggestions uh, that I have for you, and that's all they are, they are suggestions, um, that you you just use them wisely and you use the precautions when you're using chemical starters. Uh, you try not to inhale them or be uh, in the general area once you're starting your fire because it's gonna kick off a certain amount of smoke or burn off whatever chemicals um, that are utilized on those starters. So uh, let's get right to it. I'm gonna show you uh, what I use. I'm gonna show you the main thing that I use because it's simple, cheap, and easy. And I'm gonna kind of demonstrate that a little bit for you today in this video. So uh, let's do it, let's get down to it. So the first thing that I use is uh, Duraflame. And these Duraflames are just the, the typical sticks that you would use inside of, uh, and that's what they look like. And those are just the, the typical sticks that you would use inside of a fireplace or um, if you were having a bonfire, uh, something to kind of just kick that fire off and, and get everything started uh, nice nice and smooth. Um, you light one of those. Um, it burns very hot. It burns very quick and it burns for a, a sufficient amount of time. And it should be enough for you to kind of go ahead and... Um, get your tender started or not not your tender pardon me uh get your smalls and get your smaller size sticks started um to kind of start to dry those out that's the whole purpose of start trying to start a fire inside of wet conditions is you want to make uh the base of of you know your your sticks and your smalls you want to get those really hot so they start to dry out and then once you build that once you have a base to build upon and you get that nice and hot then you can start adding on to your fire and drying out your bigger pieces. So uh, that's my number one is those Duraflame uh, fireplace or fire pit starters right there. Those are relatively cheap. They come in various sizes. Um, I like to get the large size because I have a kind of a little throwaway knife and uh, I score that and I make a, a lot of little ones out of it. And then I go to the Dollar Tree and get small containers and I put those in the small containers, which I got one of them right here. And I put them in the little small containers and just duct tape the top of them so it won't come up. And they're in there and under wet conditions, you can use that and get her going. Uh, number two um, is the Pro Camp Tech. Uh, it's the ultimate fire tender. Uh, this stuff is really good. It seems to be water resistant. So, of course, if you're going to be starting uh, fires out in wet conditions, then you want something that is going to be fire retardant. And that is uh, this stuff right here. Oh, no, I'm sorry, not fire retardant, water retardant. And that's this stuff right here. Um, number three on the list is uh, duct tape. 
Now I take this duct tape. This is kind of a, a cheap one that, that I made. I, I typically use Gorilla Tape and uh, I would like to show you uh, my little secret and, and what I what I do or use in order to make uh, my Gorilla Tape, uh, I guess I call them fire triangles. And what it is with these fire triangles is you want to, uh, the, the center of this fire triangle gets very, very hot. And it's, uh, it's the prime, prime conditions for, for heating up your smalls and your smaller sticks in order to get that base and then that top layer. And then finally, your final, your final layer on top really hot to, in order to dry that wood out. And then lastly, uh, I have uh, compressed trioxane. So these uh, compressed trioxane uh, tablets burn uh, especially hot uh, when you light them. They only they only need a spark to get them going. And once you get that spark going, it's pretty much the uh, same circumstance as the other three fire starters. So uh, all three, all uh, four processes are the same for starting your fire. Um, in in the order so far as just drying out all your wood and getting that fire started another main factor is having the appropriate coverage in order to be able to uh sustain your fire not getting it too wet uh or not exposing it to too much rain or too much uh saturation of water that uh you lose one of those factors right so you have your fire triangle and that consists of oxygen a fuel source and then um, obviously fire, heat. So, uh, but today what I wanted to demonstrate was, um, I wanted to demonstrate with the fire triangle. It's one of the cheapest ways and that a lot, and it's something that everybody can get their hands on, everybody can do. Uh, the ProCamp Tech is, is reasonably uh, accessible, but uh, the ProCamp Tech, and uh, the trioxane tablets are something that you either have to go to a surplus store or order online. This is something you can go to your, your Dollar Tree and get. Um, the, the fire starter for the fireplace is something you can go to your dollar store, your Walmart, your, your general stores to get. Uh, so that's why I wanted to touch on these because they're easily accessible, something you can go out and you can get right now. So uh, let's get into this thing. Uh, I just want to let everybody know, subscribe to the channel and uh, let's get this thing started. And I'll show you how this works. All right, guys, so we're out here. Uh, we got wet conditions all around us. Uh, the last couple of days has been a lot of rain. Uh, I got some of the items that I was uh, mentioning before that's gonna help you be productive and starting a fire in wet conditions. Uh, all of these sticks here on the ground, uh, they're pretty much saturated, pretty much wet. And so uh, what I'm gonna do in this particular situation is I'm going to use uh, my little homemade fire triangles that are pretty much just made out of of duct tape and so uh what it is is uh in any other circumstances you would just take your duct tape uh as as normal you would put it in a triangle and what that's going to do is that's going to get that center very very hot and you want to take your smalls as you can see uh, my son was was helping me in the video we were collecting some of our smalls or uh, our finger size sticks and we're just going to put them as you see in the a-frame right here we're going to light our our fire triangle and we're going to sit in the middle we're going to get that core really really hot to dry out these smalls and then what we're going to do is we're going to be collecting our larger pieces of wood once we get our smalls and our, our mid mid-sized sticks warmed up and heat up and get a nice fire going and then we're just gonna feed it from there on and uh, help it to grow. 
Now, in this process, you know, a lot of times uh, it's not going to be a situation where uh, right now we have a little break and it's not raining. So wherever you decide to set up your fire, then you want to make sure that you have the appropriate coverage. You know, one of our five C's, you want to make sure you have the appropriate coverage so you're not exposing your fire to uh, too much water. So uh, just as a demonstration of how this works with this, uh, we're choosing this particular area. We don't have very much coverage right now, but uh, yeah. So anyway, uh, we're just gonna use our, our regular little Bic lighter to get that started. And we're gonna light the fire triangle. that get going pretty good. So as you can see now, our, our uh, duct tape fire triangle is in the middle. It's down deep, it's uh, lit pretty good. We got a, a pretty decent base going. We got a good top layer going. We're starting to uh, get a little bit of rain that, that's coming down now. So now we actually do have rainy conditions. And as you can see, the flames are pretty high on that fire right now. One thing about uh, using uh, uh, chemical starters to to start fires in wet conditions is to to make sure that first and foremost that you're not in the line of fire to uh, inhale any of those toxic chemicals. Uh, again, you know, uh, duct tape uh, does have uh, a chemical base that's inside of it for the the adhesive properties, and so we want to make sure that we're not in the line of fire for those things. Our smalls and things are, are lighting up pretty good, are warming up pretty good, just in time for the rain. All right, so now we're back. Um, we're back in the house. Um, we kind of left from out there in the woods, starting to get uh, pretty heavy with the rain and everything. Um, the son, he had on his uh, shoes that weren't really water resistant, so... Uh, we end up taking off and we're back home. So I hope everybody enjoyed that uh, those that example of how to use those tri fire triangles there. Um, so what I want to do is uh, I want to kind of uh, take a sidebar and show you um, how I I prefer to make my fire fire triangles and the little secret that I have and how I make my fire triangles so far as uh, what I add to them and uh, when I use the Gorilla duct tape uh, with them. And I'm going to show you that right now. Well, first, you want to get you your Gorilla tape. You want to take you off about some three inch pieces there. As you can see, uh, these aren't pretty much exact, but pretty close. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put magnesium on each one of these strips and we're going to go ahead and do that right now you want three pieces that's two and then we're going to put magnesium on the third strip there after we have our magnesium spread we'll put that off to the side and then we will begin to roll the three strips 
just like so. Roll those as tight as you can get them. And then once you're done, go ahead and flatten those ends out. Repeat that on the other two strips of Gorilla Tape. And then make sure that you flatten those edges out. Because what they're going to do, once you start to build your triangle, is those flat edges are going to overlap on each other. And then you'll use your Gorilla Tape and you'll connect the three pieces together to form your triangle shape. So now that we got all three pieces done with the magnesium in the middle of those, we will begin to form or bind our first two pieces together. We'll take our duct tape and we'll use one strip of duct tape. And instead of uh, making sections across, then we'll go diagonal and we'll cut a couple of small strips like so and those small strips are what you're going to use in order to connect your triangle you go ahead and overlap that over the first one grab your piece and here we go now there's no pretty way to to make this thing look uh, as long as you have that open center and as long as you have somewhat of a triangle heck it could probably even be a circle but i prefer to make mine in triangles so we're going to repeat that on each individual edge the same process and then once we get our last finished edge or unfinished edge then we are going to pull that to the middle and we are going to form our triangle fold those two edges back and take your last strip and just go ahead and connect that and repeat that process on all three corners use as much as those small pieces as you can to kind of contour those corners and then what you want to do once you get those corners contoured is you're, you're going to take your gorilla tape and you're just going to continue to wrap that triangle until you have the desired thickness that you want so now that you have your triangle there continue to wrap it till you have the desired thickness and what I like to do is I also like to use a uh, Gorilla Tape or a different Gorilla Tape that has like camo on it. And it looks a little something kind of like this. And that's your triangle. All said and done. So uh, that is it. That's how uh, I make my, my little fire triangles. Those are the products that I use in order to start a fire in uh, wet conditions. And uh, hey, that's all I have. So if you guys like this video uh, and you enjoy the ideas, then please go ahead and leave those comments below. Like and subscribe to the channel. And I thank everybody, thank everybody for sticking with me on this adventure of prepping and learning as we go. And I will see everybody on the next video. Oh, also, if you'd like to see me uh, kind of work with those other fire starters uh, out in the field or uh, out in the woods, then please go ahead and let me know in the comments and I'll see about getting out there. We've been getting a lot of rain so far. We're still pretty much in the beginning of spring and we've been getting a lot of rain thus far already. And so if you'd like to uh, see me work with those other fire starters and just kind of see how those work, uh, kind of similar uh, concepts of how those work, but just to see them in action, then please let me know in the comments below. Thanks everybody for tuning in. I am Fluke.